I, dyslexic genius here, Brad Hurd. And this is the Victrola 18, the XVIII, built from 1915 to 1916. It sold new for $300. Can you imagine that money? They built 3,408 of these crank rounds. They built 993 of the electrics. These are very rare. This is Victor's top of the line phonograph till you got into art case machines. This was their best cabinet they ever built for production. All this beading is all hand done. All this on the doors. The other nice thing about these machines are, this one didn't come with the uh, record albums, but on these high-end machines, they put the paper right here. This one's been kind of torn off. You can see a little bit of it here. It told you year and date and production. These also came in their high-end woods, mahogany, American walnut, Circassian walnut, or anything else you wanted to do, a Venus de Milo. They had a three-spring motor in them. All the hardware was gold-plated. Exhibition reproducer. I love the little needle cups plus a little needle cup here and here. This motif here wraps around to the back of the machine and you have the same thing as the front in the back with all this. All the 18s were built with this door in the back because if you order the electric, they use the same cabinet and put all the electronics in here for the electric motor in 1915 to 1916. And you can hide stuff back there. Beautiful bow front cabinets. Everything on the machine. If you look closely at this lid, you'll see my hands. A beautiful bowing of these lids. These are wonderful machines. These aren't a rarity three. They're sought after by Victrola collectors. I've always wanted one, and I finally found one. I love these things. They're really a wonderful photograph. Very high end. Victor built some of the best cabinets I've ever seen. And this is my tip for the day.